unfortunately I've had a fresh refutation people against me I don't know why these things happen but they do so based on my Sophia story not Sophia story but my narrative and explaining that Sophia the wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, wasn't held a slave and she wasn't raped and these kind of things and and I put that out and to be fair alhamdulillah many Muslims kind of that I've come across who have come across my material received it well um, and they were kind of they 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 were very receptive to it and it's interesting because some people kind of hate me so much uh, so they were kind of like Ugh. you know like they <laughs> you know like they they have to receive it but they still have to take a dig so you know it, it's like we can't take it just nicely from him so one person said oh well you know okay he might be right on this but he's still a government spy <laughs> God, the hate runs deep, I tell you. <laughs> the hate runs deep. You know, so... Mm -hmm. There's like that story of the... Of the, you know, of this, this uh, husband whose wife is never happy with him. She's always complaining. She's like, oh, you know, you're, you're so kind of, you know, you're, you're useless you are. You're blah, 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 useless. And then she says to him this one day, what kind of a man are you? <laughs> this is like an Urdu saying. She says, what kind of a man are you? She says, you know, that guy, he's a real man. Like, look at him, he can fly. I saw him flying. <laughs> so then the husband says, really? He says, okay then. Uh, so the husband the next day flies <laughs> in this story. He flies over their house. Right, so he's flying over and she sees this person flying. And then she says, uh, so he comes and he says, hey, did you see somebody flying over the house today? And she says, uh, yeah, I did. And he goes, well, uh-huh. Well, who do you think that was? That was me. <laughs> so she goes, it's you. Huh? She goes, no wonder <laughs> one of your legs was bent. So this is the, the kind of, you know, some people you can't please them. So anyway, and some Muslims surprisingly are still problematizing my, this is the shocking thing. Check this out, folks. So they say, oh, you know, you said this, uh, you said that Sophia, the wife of the Prophet, the Prophet couldn't have taken her as a slave or married her there and then because she had to sit in Idda, which is a verse in the Quran, you know, Allah dina yitawafawna minkum yadruna azwajan. That and but this ref, refers to Muslims, and she wasn't a Muslim. You know, it surprises me that look, first of all, first of all, it doesn't me telling you this this narrative bothers you, and you, you find it can't settle well with you. But what does settle well with you is that the Prophet allegedly just snatched her and raped her that night and held her. and that settles well with you if that you don't have any qualms in problematizing this you find a problem oh but hmm but you know was this is for muslim well did the prophet marry a non-muslim is that what you believe because all the everybody says that she was a muslim when the prophet married her so if you're saying yes the Prophet snatched her on that night and she embraced Islam and then the Prophet, well, the moment she embraces Islam, do the rulings of Islam not apply? And then people say, oh, but we want to go with this ruling that, oh, for captives, they don't need that kind of an idda waiting period. They can just wait one menstrual cycle. Well, even first of all, that's absurd because it goes against the Quran. Secondly, even if you accept that, what she did all of that on one night or in two nights what she let me get this right she first of all husband and all this people are dying she embraces islam becomes uh goes to an idda has a menstrual cycle uh then marries the prophet all this in one night <laughs> why are you trying so hard to prove this narrative i don't get it like whose side are you on <laughs> You know, you're working so hard to prove <laughs> this kind of lowly 
opinion against the Prophet. I don't get it. Why? But anyway. So in response to that, some people got upset. Because on there I mentioned that because no many of the Prophet's marriages were not witnessed. And people like the school of Medina, the, the whole Maliki Madhab says you don't need witnesses for a marriage. You only need witnesses or you can make an announcement before the marriage is consummated. So people get, some people go, oh my God, oh my God, what's this guy saying? What this, what this guy saying? <laughs> so they have this kind of like, Heart taqwa attack because their taqwa is above that of the prophets, obviously, right? So, you know, they, they, they're kind of Islam is to another standard. Obviously, the prophet, and not like the prophet and the companions or Imam Malik can meet their standards. So, so they're like, oh my God, that doesn't meet up to my standard of Islam. So somebody tweeted, uh, Sheikh. Hamza Walid Maqbul. This is not Sheikh Hamza Yusuf. I don't want you to mix this up with Sheikh Hamza Yusuf. This is Sheikh Hamza Walid Maqbul. Hamza Maqbul. He's a, uh, an indo pak scholar from Chicago, I believe. Uh, Maliki, although, you know, very kind of, still very Diobandi influenced. Strongly Diobandi influenced. But, I mean, I respect him and I actually have a good, healthy you know, friendly, I think, relationship with him. I think, this is what I think. From my end, I mean, he's been here, he's been to my house, I've hosted him, we've taken care, you know, we've, he's visited, he's chilled out with us. We've had a good laugh and he's actually got a good sense of humour. So, I respect that. But somebody asked him, what is the position of witnesses in a nikah, in the Maliki Madhab? This is on Twitter. Are witnesses mandatory? Is it being is it it is being said that the Malikis say that a public announcement of nikah is mandatory and witnesses are not mandatory? Wa alaykum as -salam. So Sheikh Maqbul responds, Who said that? Right, fair enough. Okay. So the person says, A student of Mufti Abu Layth al Maliki. At this stage, our beloved Sheikh Hamza Maqbul makes what I would call a mistake <laughs> of trying to go out, <laughs> trying to lash out against me and saying, Maum Apun, that's Apun people, Mufti Abu Layth al Maliki, is um, as Maliki as Lawrence of Arabia is of Arabia. Oof. <laughs> and he says, as a student of knowledge, I can safely say. Now, wait there. As a human being, I enjoy hanging out with him. Meaning, the guy can chill, he can have a laugh with you. As a student of knowledge, I can safely say he doesn't represent the Maliki school in any form. I'm familiar with. Oof. Hi. Ah. Mardala. Hi. Hi, Mary Jan. Itni be ruhi. Hi. Itni be dardi se. Ah, these people. As Maliki as Lawrence of Arabia is of Arabia. Hi, 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 hi. Well, witnesses, he's, he's shocked to this question. He's shocked. Okay. Well, as the poem goes, that Nagmae Bulbule Sheda to Suna Has Haskar, that you may have heard. The song, the beloved song of the nightingale so happily. Ab jigar tham ke beto, meri bari hai. <laughs> now brace yourselves. It is my turn to speak, people. Ooh, al-kafi. 
one of my heroes, Ibn Abdul Bar, the Don, Hafiz al Maghrib, fi fiqi ahl al Madina til Maliki, right? Aye, Huzur. Aye, Huzur, aye, aye. Do char bate ho jayen. Take a seat, inshallah. Kitabun nikah. Kitabun nikah. People, kitabun nikah. وَيَنْعَقِدُنْ نِكَاحِ This, by the way, this book is written for the fatwa according to the Malikis. وَيَنْعَقِدُنْ نِكَاحِ بِغَيْرِ شُهُودٍ عِنْدَ مَالِكِ And the nikah is valid according to Malik without witnesses. كَمَا يَنْعَقِدُ الْبَيْعِ As buying and selling is valid according to the Malikiyya. وَيَشْحَدُونَ Fima yastaqbilun, and they can make people make it be known in what comes. This is before they consummate the marriage. The Maliki Imam Malik Ibn Abd al Bar. But wait, wait, Baba, we haven't finished. Na munna na. Ah 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 ah. Al Jamia, right. This pe- people, this people, this people, this people. I want you to take a look at this. This is, you've got a book of Abu Bakr ibn Yunus al-Saqili, the Sicilian. It is known as the Jami of, in reference to the Mudawwana. His book was referred to as the Mus'haf of the Malikiyah, the Quran of the Malikiyah. It was referred to as. By the way, and I don't mean this as disrespect, but I remember when Sheikh Hamza Maqbul was here, and I spoke, and we spoke about the jami. He'd never even heard of the jami. He didn't even. He he said like, "What is that?" I, and oh, and that's only the Quran of the Malikiyah. <laughs> but that's no disrespect. And I'm the one who doesn't know Maliki fiqh, huh? Rukia, 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 rukia. <laughs> don't don't hasten. Don't hasten. Dire <laughs> dire. Let's take this slowly. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> so, from the Mudawwana, Minal Mudawwana, people Mudawwana, Qala Malik, Woman Tazawwaja Bihayri Bayina, whoever married without any witnesses or documentation for it, Ala Ghayri Istita, as long as it wasn't done on purpose to make this a secret marriage. مِنْ غَيْرِ اسْتِتَارِ فَالنِّكَاحُ جَائِزِ فَالنِّكَاحُ جَائِزِ وَيَشْهَدْ And he mentions فِيمَا يَسْتَقْبِلُونَ That when it comes to the future, they can, they can get witnesses, make an announcement. What? He, says, في هذا, he says that هذا كله قبل البناء This is all done before they consummate the marriage. Let's go on. Now... Right, what does he say? Abdul Wahab, he's quoting Abdul Wahab al Baghdadi. The nikah contract is valid according to us, Al Malikiyah. Al Malikiyah, people. It is valid. Min ghayri ishhad, without witnesses. Khilafan li Abi Hanifa wa Shafi'i. As opposed to what Abu Hanifa and Shafi'i says, لِأَنَّهُ عَقْدٌ مِّنَ الْعُقُودِ فَأَشْبَهَ سَائِرَهَا وَلِأَنَّهُ مَعْنًا يُقْصَدُ بِهِ التَّوَثُّقِ فَلَمْ يَكُنْ شَرْطًا فِي الْعَقْدِ كَالْرَهْنِ وَالْكَفَالَةِ And then he says, if this is valid, then this, the hadith is only referring to a shart kamal. He says, وَهُوَ شَرْطٌ فِي الْكَمَالِ وَالْفَضِيلَةِ And then he brings a hadith from the Mudawwana. From the Mudawna and Athar, Wazakara ibn Wahab, Anna Hamza ibn Abdullah, Khataba ila Salim ibn Abdullah ibn Atahu, Fazawajahu iyaha, Walaysa ma'ahuma gayruhuma. And he married her off to him, and there was nobody else to witness it. Nobody except them. Waqad dhukira mithlu dhalika an Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that is what has been transmitted from the Prophet as well. When he married off a man, he said, Allah, 
Unkehuka Amina to bin to Rabi'a ibn al Harith. The person, he said, Prophet said, Shall I not marry you to her? The person said, Yes, Bala ya Rasulullah. He said, Qad ankahtukaha. I have done the nikah for you. Walam yashhad. And there were no witnesses. And Ibn al Mawaz from the Malikiya says, Waqad fa'ala dhalika Umar. And Umar did that when he married his daughter to Sauda min Urwa. These are the dons of the Malikiya people, the Mus'haf, the Quran of the Malikiya, Abu Bakr ibn Yunus. Let's go on. Ibn al-Hajib, Ibn al-Hajib in the Jami al-Ummahat. What does he say? What does he say, people? What does he say? He's... Naam, naam, naam. Wain shahid fayifsakh, wain... Right, this ah, yes, salam. Right, so let me see. Oh, there it is. I thought it had slipped. Wal ishadu shartun fi jawazid duhul. Well, ishadu having witnesses is a condition to consummate the marriage, not la fi sehat al aqd, la fi sehat al aqd, not in the validity of the nikah. So the nikah is jaiz, and your knowledge of the Maliki madhab is daif, daif. People, don't you come here attack my knowledge of the Maliki madhab? Kalla, no way on earth, people. This is Khalil uh, ibn Ishaq commenting on ibn al-Hajib. He says, look, وَالْإِشْحَادُ شَرْطٌ فِي جَوَازِ الدُّخُولِ لَا فِي صِحَةِ الْعَقْدِ And then he brings the hadith of, from ibn Wahab of Hamza ibn Abdullah that I just read to you. And he mentions, look at this, Qadi Iyad speaking in the Tanbihat, مَشْهُورُ مَذْهَبِنَا أَنَّ الْإِشْحَادِ لَيْسَ بِشَرْطٍ فِي صِحَةِ الْعَقْدِ That this is not Qadiyyad says that this is the mashhur of our madhab, that it is not a condition in the Maliki madhab for the validity of getting married. And this is what Lakhmi has said. This is what Ibn Yunus has said. This is what Ibn Rashid has said. They mention that you do ishhar or i'lan. Allahu Akbar. Hey, Baba. <laughs> this is this. I tell you. People can criticize me on many things. You can criticize me for being modern. You can attack me for my outlook. Right. I will shred your arguments to a million pieces. I openly welcome you to any discussion with me on the Maliki Madhab. We will very clearly see within minutes who is more well versed on the school of Medina. Baba, I've dedicated an entire portion of my life in passion to the school of Medina, right? So to say I have no knowledge of the school of Medina, behave yourself. That falak ko kya para, you know, this is what, as Daag says, Daag, the famous poet, ke falak ko para, dil jalo se kam nahi. That the, the heavens haven't messed with somebody so crazy. Jala ke raak na kar dun, to Daag naam nahi. If I don't burn the whole thing and raise it to the ground, then you can change my name. This is the thing. So if you want to challenge me on my knowledge of the Maliki Madhab, any day and every day, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> so don't you dare say that I have, when the truth is we both know and I don't want to attack you like this. We both know that your knowledge of the Maliki, of the Maliki Madhab does not exceed a few books. That's all. You haven't even heard of most of these texts. I could guarantee that. Let alone I could name texts which I've got right here that you wouldn't even know that they're in print. So this, so before people point fingers, please think, you know, this one, this one not nice, you know, this <laughs> stick to Stick to the, your Indo-Pak kind of audiences. You know, those people, shalwar kameez, you know, <laughs> but but ding ding. 
good day you know now what to do what to do those people they're your audience those people you can call out they won't know anything about the maliki madhab right stick to those people you know those kind of still delving in their old debates of the diobandis or the brilvis or these kind of things right but <laughs> if you decide to tread these grounds then tread softly my friend <laughs> that's what i'd like to say because the next time and i could have pulled out so many so many books here this <laughs> yet trust me when i say i went lightly <laughs> I went lightly yet, Sheikh. So, please, by all means, and by all, and of course, I enjoy chilling with you as well. <laughs> I love that one, by the way. You know when people want to take a dig, they go, oh, by the way, I, 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 I like the guy's humor. <laughs> and then they'll just try to stab me with that. It's like, uh, okay. You know, like, what you could say is look you could say i disagree with this person's interpretation of things you could say you know this person's interpretation doesn't reflect the interpretation i'm used to you could say that but to say this person has no knowledge and this person is as linked to the maliki madhab as lawrence of arabia was to arabia then behave yourself <laughs> right behave yourself <laughs> That's all I'd say. Yeah, so, and let this be a lesson to these other fools that go running like this as well. To people like that or other people trying to find faults in my knowledge. Come to me. <laughs> I'm right here. Come to me. Why, why are you running to these people to assess my knowledge? These people can't assess my knowledge. I mean, they, they themselves don't have that kind of knowledge. And I don't say that to kind of be arrogant. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I just love honesty. That's all. So don't run to these people to assess my knowledge. Ask me. I'm sitting right here. So, so this is the thing. So I saw that today and I was disappointed, you know, because I thought, wow. You know, here's a person who I, I kind of, like I said, he came here and I was very respectful and and he should have known by just visiting me and knowing that, well, he didn't even actually know some of these books existed when he came. Forget existed, he didn't even know of them. You should learn from that alone that, okay, this guy, I may disagree with him, but at least he knows his stuff. You know, maybe he's wrong. Yeah, by all means, maybe I'm misguided, by all means. But to say that he's ignorant... He doesn't actually know these things, he's making them up. Then that is to mislead people. So anyway, let's move on people. Next question. Next question. So that's, so another one bites the dust. <laughs> Keep them coming people. Keep them coming. I'm all day, every day. I'm here. I'm ready and waiting. <laughs> Right, so what's another question that we've got here? Let's take some other questions. He's a relatively young scholar and I've got nothing against him. Like I began by saying, I was actually disappointed by hearing th that he said this to the extent that I actually didn't believe it. So when the person said, posted this live on my thing, saying that Hamza Walid Maqbul, Sheikh Hamza Maqbul said this about you. I thought that that's this person's interpretation. But then they posted the actual screenshots of his Twitter saying this, that, you know, oh, he's, you know, I can safely say that basically this guy knows nothing and he's as linked to the Maliki Madhab as Lawrence of Arabia is to Arabia. That was his actual wording. Um, so it kind of disappointed me that why would you say that when the truth is we all know and anybody who's spoken to us knows that, you know, that actually, if anything, your own knowledge of the school of Medina is quite weak. But I wouldn't attack people for their knowledge of the school of Medina because to me, it doesn't bother me. You know, like at the end of the day, each for the, you know, to their own. Like, I'm not here to pick on people and say he, he doesn't know much or he doesn't know much. 
But it shocks me that they would say that about me. I was like, yeah, Kamal Karthio, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, this one, not nice, this one. You know, <laughs> why you, why you do this one? <laughs> why, why this Kolaveri? <laughs> right, so anyway, 